this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way to make a permanent jump or drop. And I say jump or drop because they're the exact same design, just one's on a slant and one's not. But without a further ado, let's get into it. The first step is cutting the post that you're going to pound into the ground. This post is going to determine how steady and how stiff your jump's going to feel. So before making the drop, you should decide how big you actually want it to be. And then you should add a couple feet on top of it because those are going to be under the ground and keeping the whole jump still. Then there's step two, which is actually creating the surface that you're going to ride on. If you're going to make your jump or drop very big, then I definitely recommend you make this quite long as well. And that's especially true for a jump, because this step is going to determine the angle of your jump. And that can really make or break whether it feels good or it's way too steep and you don't like it. But the point of the drop that I'm making today is for my sister and my dad to practice drops, so I didn't want to make mine very big at all, and therefore I didn't have to make this very long. The third step is adding a piece of wood so that all the pressure is being put right down onto the post and not some screws. And you're going to want to put this on the end that you're flying off of, not the one that's in the dirt. Then after those three steps you have everything you need to build the drop. Now all you're going to need is a sledgehammer, some screws and a drill. As well as some scrap pieces of wood so that when you pound on the post it doesn't break the top of the post. And when you're pounding the post in you're going to want to make sure you hit it square or well bad things can happen. Whoa! <laughs> that's a good video. Then you screw your drop into a post, and really you can call it good there, but I highly recommend you add some supports on the side. These supports make the jump way sturdier, and if you were to go off the side, then it won't put any pressure on the screws that went right into the post. Then from there, the whole thing's done. Really all you have to do is go ride it and enjoy it. This only took me about 30 minutes to build, so it's extremely fast, very sturdy, and I highly recommend you go out and build one for yourself. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This drop actually feels really good. It surprised me how well it feels because it's quite short, but I can launch it pretty good. Well, that's the end of the video. If you did like this video, please consider subscribing. All I like to do is click right down there. As you can see here, a very small percentage of people are actually subscribed to watch my video. So it'd mean a lot if you did subscribe, but that's the end of the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.